Hey guys, today I have a few different things. I have some AliExpress dies and little sequins. I have a small little Dollar Tree haul, very small. Uh, I have a Amazon purchase and a, a very small few items from Target. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to work with some of the dies and, and show examples. And so I worked over the weekend and created a few examples for some of the dies. And I used the die cuts with a view Halloween party paper. I used the large paper and the small paper. And I mean, this is just such an adorable set. I mean, I just, well, you can tell I used this paper for the butterfly. And I don't know what I used this one for, but it's over here. So let's see. Oh, for the cauldron, I think. Uh, so I just wanted to show the paper pad that I worked with. And I remember saying, I think this is going to go fast. I looked online to buy another one of these. Sold out. I think they had the larger one a couple of days ago online when I looked. But this was sold out. I think they put it on sale and it just got wiped out. So this is what I used. These are all that I'm going to show right now are from KS Craft. These are the little flower shakers that you could make shakers. You don't have to make shakers, but it's really cool. They gave you the center for each flower. The centers are the exact same from, I mean, from what I saw. And you actually can make a very simple shaker. I thought these were going to be very intricate and hard to work with. They were not. Very simple. So you can see I kind of did the pinks, the peachy pinks, and the whites on this one. And look, I put little, little bats in the shaker. And then I put some little iridescent clear stars. <laughs> they actually do shake. This bat is kind of suspended, which I love. I like it when my shaker bits get stuck in the foam adhesive. It's just, I like that. I like that they're all over it instead of when they all fall to the bottom. I don't like that. And this is that, it's called, is from Hobby Lobby. It's called Eyelash Gilt. And it's by Yarn Bee. And I used the white iridescent and the black iridescent. So I made a little shaker with black and white paper all from this set. Then I thought, well, that might be distracting, and I wanted to see what it looked like with just, you know, plain paper. I'm trying to think. I think this is, this is yes, from the same set. I think the larger pack had the polka dots. And then the black shiny paper is that tonic paper that it's, it's sold out on scrapbook.com, but it's a mirror card stock. I absolutely love the mirror card stock. And all I did was, if you run them all together, you'll wind up with extra bits of these. But that's okay, because you just save them for another project. And you just run them all together, and then you have all these extra flowers you can mix and match. And I saved the bits in a little plastic bag. I don't know that I will use them, but in just in case, I mean, you know, sometimes you run out of paper. So that's, these, I am so thrilled with these. And I just tacked them down with a little hot glue. And the, the gluing the rest of the flowers, I used my Barely Arts Precision Glue for everything, even for gluing this and then the three millimeter wandy foam which reminds me i bought the ks craft foam and I, after i show the dies i'll grab the foam and we can compare it to the wandy foam it's a little thinner so i purchased the black wandy foam the white wandy foam and the pink i just haven't used the pink yet but so happy with these little darling darling flowers so happy Let's see. Next up. Oh, well, next up, I purchased the cauldron from KS Craft. The small one and the large one. I did not make the small one yet. I kind of thought the small one would be the hardest. I made the large one. And I thought, oh, the first one's not going to turn out. I'm going to use paper that I don't care about. So I pulled out an authentic set from years ago. And it's, it, I am absolutely in love with it. Uh, I, um, because the inside was orange, 
I just went with orange on the outside. I, you make your own, you make your own uh, handle. And so what I did is I had a piece of eight and a half by 11 black cardstock from Hobby Lobby, just plain black cardstock. And I trimmed, what is that? Let's see, how much did I trim out? I was gonna guess an inch and a half, a little, a little more than an inch and a half, but I scalloped it. This is exactly an inch for the handle right there. And I scalloped it using this Stephanie Barnard set, using this little scalloped edge. And I wasn't precise, I just kind of ran it through. It turned out the way it did, I was thrilled with it. I was trying to make this project as easy as possible. It is very simple. You, all you do is you cut seven of these and then you cut your bottom and you just start adhering them to the bottom. It, I hot glued everything. The hardest part was putting the last piece in and then, you know, you, you can't get your hands all around it. You just have to, you know, glue to this side and glue this one to the one that's stationary. And it, it was very simple. I was shocked at how simple it was. I think the smaller one would be harder, but it's it it does it's not exactly perfect, but it's really really close. So it that was simple. It was tricky to put the handle in there because it was seven sides. So my recommendation is put the handle on last. Get your outside decorated and then Put the handle centered, put the, whatever your decoration is, centered to the handle or whatever design you have. This side is off-centered, but it, I centered it right on a peak, but it's seven sides, so it can't be done like that. So I just tricked the eye and centered this. Yeah, I, I can't tell. Can you guys tell? I, I can't tell. And I used some of my AliExpress ribbon black lace ribbon and some of my cute little beads and my black rose. I just, I am so thrilled with this. And I will recommend that since it's paper, decorate it on both sides to give it balance so it stands up. So that, so that, that works out great. And it looks good to have a bow in the back. And then I don't know, this is very flimsy. If I was going to give this as a gift, I would not do this unless I did it out of some sort of plastic, but it looks pretty and I, I like it. It will go with my decor. The next one I would, and, and I would recommend doing the inside a more neutral color, but I have to say this does look like a witch would own this cauldron with all those cats in it. The next word of advice, when you put this bottom, this bottom, right piece in here, right in there. Use this kind of glue so you can wiggle it around. I just had the hot glue and I stuck it down. And luckily it it fell in a position <laughs> where it was lined up. I just got really lucky with this project. And I think it turned out great. The only mess up is that this isn't centered and it's on the back, so that's fine. And it fits, like it can hold so much. We'll put my little flowers in there. Look how much this thing can hold. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. This is, if, if you don't mind running it seven times, which I'm going to purchase another one. So I only have to run it like four times and run them together. I mean, you could purchase as many as you want. It seems to me like these were around $4. To buy and you buy them separately. I will try the little one, but I'm so in love with this one. I don't know that I'll get to it this season, but I will try. If people absolutely want to see, if anyone really wants to see the little one, just leave a, a note in the comments and I will make one. Okay, so we've done that. The next one I made was this was, I thought, oh, this isn't going to turn out and all these things turned out on a first try. This is the broom. And I saved the paper so you could see it. It came with a bunch of different hands. And I used this, this paper. And then this is a paper. Sometimes I will get out my Dilutions paints and my inks and my stamps. And I will just 
make pretty colors of paper. And then I have a folder. It's a binder with envelopes. They're clear envelopes. And I file it away. And then when, one day when I go, oh, I wish I had pink or green in this color, I grab it. I look and see if I have it. And I had a pink that worked and it had some black ink on it. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. This is like a pink and orange, which I love pink and orange together, which goes great at Halloween this year. And, but look how it turns out. It looks like a comb. Isn't that crazy? So it pulls out funny, but this was painted thick paper. But what, what I found was look at the inside. It's like a broom color on the inside because I used the, it's a Dilusions journal. I'll try and grab one. Here's one right here. And I, I know I'm not, I, I know everyone writes and does all their journaling in these dilution journal. I use it for the paper because I think the paper's awesome. <laughs> and you can spray it with water and it's just a notebook stripe paper. She has graph paper. She has plain paper. She has the big notebook. She has everything. And I would say these things run about $3.50 or $4. Um, so yeah, uh, so that's why it's, it's like a broom color on the inside. And the paper that I picked from here was like a star pattern. It's the reverse of, I think this one. Yeah. And it's a star pattern. And I thought, oh, stars and brooms and witches, how cute. And this isn't going to turn out anyways. But when you do, if you want to, I didn't want the handle to look like this. So, and I ran all the handles to see which one I liked the best. And I liked this one. I thought this one was the largest looking one. They're, they're all really cool. But you need to run your paper. Like, if you want this side and you need to put the reverse, you need to run it upside down. Run it on this side. Run it once on this side, run it once on this side to get your whatever paper you're working with color. So that was a that was a really fun, fast little project. And honestly, I thought when I bought this, oh, I won't even use these handles. I'll use skewers or I'll use lollipop sticks. Well, I will, but I also love the shape of this handle. And then Right here, when I when I folded it together, I put a piece of like double-sided tape here. And that really didn't want to hold too well. And I wanted to trim it in black glitter. So I, I hot glued it. Look at that. Look at that. And this is my own strip. That's my own strip. I just kind of eyeballed it. Let's see. It is... It is under... It's in between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. So, and, and you know, you can eyeball it and however you want. You know, a sticker would work, a border sticker. Ooh, that would work. You'd probably hold it really well. But it's on there and it's good. And I'm thrilled with that broom. And I, I really was, oh, should I, shouldn't I? Because I've seen so many people making brooms with tassels and things like that. I love this. I'm really happy with it, but I'm a big fan of paper, which by the way, I heard on the news yesterday, there's a paper shortage going on because of all the boxes and things that people are using. So when, when you see your papers come out, I would, I would jump on them if you can and get them so that they don't sell out. I'm noticing all kinds of things are selling out fast and you know, it's mid, is it even mid September? It's close to mid September. All right, the next one we have up is the cauldron. So I'll get out all the pieces, and it's a cauldron shaker. And you get all kinds of pieces. And I saved the, the foam from the shaker, because look, you can pop up just a little cauldron on your scraps that come out of here. And I was initially going to do green, but I just wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't liking the green and the black together. So you get bubbles, you get like a, a steam behind it, you get your base, and then your little shaker cutout piece. 
and you get a fish and a piece of wood and then the bubble like the the liquid that's in there so cute and i will show you this because you can see this really well you can get sequins in the handles <laughs> i was like what you can get sequins in the handles very easily just kind of shake it carelessly over top and they'll fall right in the handle okay so we'll put these goodies away i'll show you the example love this so i used the little skull with bows for the shaker bits i used this paper that has it's, it's the one that was right here. I used this paper on the inside. And then I used my mirror, black mirror cardstock. And you you get extra bubbles. You could you could stick the bubbles this way, you could stick the bubbles here, you can stick it all around on your project. But look in those handles. Little diamond shaker bits. So cute. And I used the black. I was just, I don't know, I was just really loving the black when I was working on stuff this weekend. So I used black Wandy foam. So thrilled with that one. And what is up next? I think we have the butterfly. So I had said I wanted to work butterflies into my Halloween items. And I think this one's one of those little bag covers. It kind of looks like a card. I kept the back on it and you get two different ways to do the front. Look, they even give you an extra, I guess it's called a stamen. Is that right? No, no, that would be a flower. Uh, for a butterfly, they give you, um, I had it and I lost it. Uh, those old things. <laughs> so you can do this topper or you can do this topper. It just depends on how you want the, or is it this topper? You can do this one. It just depends on how you want the, the, um, the, sh how open you want the shaker. Do you want the shaker like this? Or do you want it like, you know, covered up? I chose this one because I, I wanted to do some holographic. It could be a cute little card. So I put beads on it and these are from AliExpress. And I don't know if you saw where I hauled one B and two O's and I thought, what am I going to do with all these beads? Oh, the, I have found a use for these beads. You just always kind of find a use for what you, what you purchase. I put these little tiny black dots that I don't know what you call these, but they're little, I guess, cabochons and they're in multi sizes. I picked those up from AliExpress. They're just right here in a black bag and super inexpensive. And I know that you can buy them like self-adhesive at like scrapbook.com and places like that. But I, I just wanted, I wanted to see all the different sizes and they do come in handy, especially for eyes, antennas and for antennas. Okay. So I put black and white striped sequins and some pinkish white iridescent sequins and this holographic paper. This is also, I think I cuts with a view. That's this paper right here. I just kind of using what I have sitting on my table and trying to you know, spend a little time hunting for things and just kind of using what's within arm's reach, which is nice because I've picked up a lot of cute things and it makes it really fun. All right, so the little body, the extra antennas, which I did not do the extra antennas, but I might and then reinforce the antenna in the back, but it's really cute. I mean, it is really cute. So love that, love that foam. This is the perfect height of foam. I've seen people using the five millimeter foam too, but I like this. You don't have to fill it up as much with um, shaker bits if you use the three millimeter. It sits nice, just love it. And the last example I have, but not the last die set. This one I put on a magnetic sheet and I'm gonna get that organized. It was so many little pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 for the little haunted house. 
So I chose the pink and white paper with the little word bubbles. And if you look close, you can see the ghost. I put clear seed beads and then I put little pink stars. And yeah, it shakes and it is the cutest thing. I mean, it is the cutest thing ever and it is full. I mean, look how the little ghosts are like peeking out of the window and flying around the house. Are you serious? There's a ghost. It's so cute. I almost screamed when I when I got the top on. Now, I I did not use because I was using black over pink. I think if you were using like a light color over a dark color it would look better. I didn't use the more intricate version that goes on top just because it didn't look as good. So, I just used the solid pieces. But you have little intricate pieces for for I guess like your roof line and for this roof line here and then above your door. So cute, but I I just wanted it. I did, did not want to take away from what was going on in the house and it, the house is busy. And so this is the way I kept it. Added the little picket fence in my sparkle white paper and that one is done. So the next, this is still KS Craft. And I'm going to make this, this is a shaker ticket. And I'm definitely going to do a haunted house ticket. I don't know if it's gonna, like my, I'm imagining at a really nice haunted house, you would get a really fancy ticket, right? So one that you could save. And I picked up the Christmas tree shaker. I picked up the Santa boot. There are two boots. So which way he's gonna, cut. I'm not sure which boot that I purchased, but I wanted it to face this way. I'm thinking it's the right boot, but I'm, I'm not positive. And it also has a Merry Christmas die on it. I was pleasantly surprised with that. So I picked up the Santa boot and I picked up the, wait, 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 wait. This isn't the shaker ticket. This is it? This is for the coffee cup. This ha this must be for the coffee cup. Oh, sorry for the mistake. I know I picked up, I know I purchased a ticket that's a shaker, and I was thinking that was this. This has to be this has to be the coffee cup. So this is the coffee cup. This one looks tough, but I'm hoping it's going to come together easy like the cauldron did. And this one really screams Christmas to me. So I'm excited to work with that. I want, sorry, I thought that was a ticket. Okay, so I have the foam and I have a few other things from KS Craft. And I'll move these guys out of the way. Okay, here is the foam, and you get quite a bit. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there is that foam. Here is Wandy foam, and let's compare. The Wandy foam is thicker, so it's this is whiter. This is more of a. Uh, it's not cream. It's white, but it's more of a yellow white where this is more of a blue white and yeah I mean that's this is like ice white this is nice so that's the difference a little tiny difference so depends on how much you want your items popped up I think this would be great for popping words and things up and it's 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 nice it's soft it's a good quality and you get a ton for I am not positive but I think it was around four dollars this is smaller in size this is like eight and a half by eleven where the wani foam's huge okay the next thing I have are the shaker bits I picked up from KS craft so I picked up these little teeny teeny tiny gingerbread men I mean, they're teeny, teeny, tiny. They're adorable. Very happy. I'm 
really into gingerbread men, and I got some kind of little bonus beach ball or something in there. I picked up the spider webs. They're really, really, I, I can't believe how well you can decipher each line in the web. That's shocking to me. Okay, and I picked up these little rainbows. Sorry, I was looking at them in the screen. They're thick rainbows. If you can see them, they cut them thicker. You could use these as cabochons. I mean, you can use them as shakers, but you could use these as cabochons. So you don't get as many of these as you do say these, but they're much bigger. So just a different, a different item. And then I picked up two of these. These were the Christmas mix. And I like it. I like it a lot. But I need to let people know. This is orange. That is not red. So, if you, I thought it was going to be red. But I thought, wow, it's a really, really pretty color. It's, it's orange. So, you've got orange and silver and white and green. But that really looks orange to me. I like it. But I expected it to be red. So you, if you wanted red, you might just have to kind of flick out some of the orange and put some red in there. I would not buy it because I think it's pretty. And there might be a paper it goes with. A lot of times when you get a mix, it goes with a particular paper. But so there's that. Okay, and then I'll switch stores. This was from the CY... FUN Design Official Store. All I did was pick up some flowers to make some little rolled paper flowers. Very inexpensive. This was a set and this was a set. And they have a lot to choose from. They have, I mean, I think they have more than four sets to choose from. It just depends, you know, what style you want to make. My two favorites were these two. So I went ahead, but I, I like these, but these were my two favorites. So I grabbed those. And then I have, oh, I have some, I have some beads and some charms too. I mean, I have so much stuff coming, flying in and out of this house. I'm losing track. This is from the Andy store. And I loved this bag topper. So I, I broke down and went ahead and bought the spiderweb bag, bag topper. I just, and it's a shaker. I just think it's so cool. And I think it's cool that you can do this with it as well and get a very large spiderweb. So really love the size. Let me measure that because the, I find it deceiving. When I look at things, I find it deceiving the size. Okay. So, like this house, this house right here, I thought that was going to be much bigger than it is. And it's, it is three inches. That's not, and then width, three inches. Now, this one, this is four and a half inches. And I'm sure it's four and a half. Yeah, by four and a half inches. That is a substantial size. See how it dwarfs that one? Oh, but wouldn't that be cute? Wouldn't that be cute on a card? So it's just endless possibilities, right? And then this one I thought was going to be huge. And I was concerned about it because I wanted to make ornaments for my tree with this. Little shaker snowflake ornaments. And it is not huge. It is... Let's do this one. Three... A little smidge over three and a quarter. And I'm sure it's identical. Yeah. So three and a quarter. So pretty. Love it. I think it has a great design. Okay. So those were the two I picked up from that store. And then I will grab my beads. It's just a couple. It's just a couple. So this is from Beads Factory Store. And I, they gave me a free gift. So they gave me one of these cute little flower. Isn't the red inside that bead gorgeous? One of these cute little flower 
beads that have the, you know, the thick center like a Pandora bead. I thought that was pretty. I would not have bought that, but I really like that. So I think that was nice of them. So I picked up more of these guys because I just, I love these skeletons. They're just too cute, too cute for words. And I picked up red hearts and pink hearts. Because I was picking up the skeletons, I thought, you know what, let's get a few things for Valentine's Day. So I picked the red and the pink heart. That's a very pale pink. Very pretty. Oh, you know what? Me and pink. Let's put it on white so you can actually see. It actually looks pink on white. They're cute. I thought those would be great for Valentine's Day. Okay, I feel like I have a few more things. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm just scanning around behind me to see if I miss anything. So I'll show what I picked up from Amazon. I picked up this Biggs die from Amazon and the name of it is Cute Ghost. And Scrap Diva had it on and had run. And I thought, oh my gosh, she had run a pink one, I think, and a white one. And I just thought, oh my gosh, I have to have that. This one is so cute. And then the angle this one's going at, you can pair them together. Just so fantastic. Sweet faces. And I love, my favorite dyes are the Biggs dyes. This one was around $19. It's sold out on Sizzix.com. So I think this is a hot one. So I grabbed that. And then, okay, so I will show a couple things that I picked up at Target. I, I picked up something that's too big to put on the screen. But if you like a cloche, you know, like a, it's, it's a plate. It's not on a stand. It's a black plastic plate and it has a large lid. And it probably stands up almost to this, to my phone right here. It was $10. You can look it up. It's by Hide and Eek and look up Halloween Cloche on Target.com. It's only sold in the stores, but you can take a peek at it. They had just put two out when I, like, I saw people putting stuff out. I came down that aisle and said, yes, I grabbed it, put it right in my cart, showed it to a woman who passed by. She screamed, she grabbed it, she put it in her cart. So I will get it decorated. So you, the, the idea is to fill it. They had it with a skull in it. But if you need like a larger centerpiece item, I need something for my buffet right in the center. And so I thought, oh, I've got all kinds of things when I'm going through my decorations that I don't ever put out. I could just put them right in there and it will be cute. So, so just, uh, if you're looking for something like that and you like a cloche and it's C-L-O-C-H-E. So I found these, which Craft Purge had showed these on her channel. They have scavenger hunt eggs at Target. They have orange jack-o'-lantern face eggs. And then they had these skulls that did not have many of these bags. There was like 50 of the orange ones and you get a ton of eggs, just like Easter. There was probably 10 of these. So I grabbed two packages, thought they were really cute. I mean, really you could put anything in them. It would be cute for beads or that would be a lot of sequin mix. I mean, that would be probably the whole bag of sequin mix. That would be a lot for sequins, but for beads, I think that would be great for little treats. That would be cute. You could put candy corn and things like that in there. Uh, they're really cute. And let's see, you get two, four, six, eight. You get eight of them. And then the other thing I grabbed at Target were these filler pumpkins. And this was more like they had the Halloween stuff. So it was back to school, Halloween, and then they had kind of stuck towards the back of the Halloween, some Thanksgiving stuff. And uh, you can see them better from this side. These, these are felt. And I looked online and these are more Thanksgiving. The ones online have orange, white, and then black. They don't have this more Thanksgiving color. I think I'm going to order those because $10 is a steal for these little handmade pumpkins. I would never be able to make them like this. So I think I'm going to pick up the Halloween version too. So that was what I got from Target. I went in to look at the, I wanted the sequins so bad in the little glass bottles and all they had 
and they were only a dollar. All they had was black rats and it said something like rat poison. And I, I just, I don't ever, I don't really decorate with rats for Halloween. So I didn't pick that up. So, so leave that for somebody who does enjoy decorating with little rats for Halloween. But that was a bummer. But finding that cloche, oh, oh, oh my gosh. And I will put it when I get it decorated. I will put it on Instagram on my Raleigh Girls Design channel on Instagram. So I will post a picture. It, it might be a couple of weeks. So I just wanted to tell people, if you like that kind of style, go on target.com because they have got some really cool stuff. I've ordered some stuff online that's coming that's not in the store, like a Ouija board tray and things like that. And when it comes in, I'll show you guys, but you know, it may take a few days to get it in. And I don't want people to miss out because I'm not seeing the stock like I'm used to seeing on stuff. I'm seeing the little dollar items overflowing off the shelves. And, but the dollar spot at my target, I have to say like, Things are just so small. I need I need bigger things. I need bigger things with height on them for the way I decorate. I have tons of little stuff. I need big stuff. Okay, so I just got back from the Dollar Tree. I just bit the bullet and bought a case of these guys because I couldn't go, I couldn't run all over the city anymore. I, I couldn't do it. It was driving me crazy. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I can use these. These can be... These might be what I give for teacher's gifts. My daughter said they were too big. She couldn't get them in her backpack. And I thought, you, <laughs> don't be so difficult. <laughs> but <laughs> the teen years are coming. So, but here's an idea I thought of. I don't know that I could do it for this one. But for this one, I could fill this little guy with resin. You could fill him with gold or silver paint or pink paint. Actually, now that I'm feeling him, this, his head and chest can be filled with a color, but I'm still going to try it. I'm still going to see what it will look like if I fill his head and chest with resin. I think it will look cool. So the next time I have my resin out, I'll have to try this. But these things are a good size. I mean, the problem with these things is how, min how much candy do you need for them? So they're seven and a quarter inches. That is impressive. And then how high are they? One and three quarters inches. So that's an impressive size. So, so thrilled with these, so happy with these. And, and I had it delivered to the store so I didn't have to pay their crazy shipping. And I thought, you know what? Just when they come in, I'll see if anything new's in the store. And they had some new stuff in the store. So I grabbed some of these vase fillers. So everybody's, everybody's been like finding these no problem. I finally found some of these. I grabbed two bags because they are foam and they would be cute in here. But uh, they're very lightweight. They can't be used as dangles, but they will look pretty. Like they might, it might even be pretty to fill this. Let's see. Let's see. I have them all loose here. See how much goes in here. But this would be so cool filled with beads there. So I, I still have a handful left of the. Oh gosh, I have plenty more left. So that's about a bag of those. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That's I think twelve came in a bag. So I mean they're 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 corralled in here. They look kind of cool. But I don't think I'd do that. But, oh, do I have, hold on. I have something. So he's not finished, but he's in the process. I wanted a pink. This is that garland. So I spray painted him. I spray painted him white. And I wanted to see how big he was. He fits in there. You could put some creepy cloth in there, lay one of these guys, sprinkle some little candies around. That's cute. We have a nice roomy coffin. Oh, you could sit. Oh my gosh. You could do a little scene with him. That is really cute. Maybe hot glue him down. 
he's so much cuter in the white to me than that bone color that they have him in. But I know people like creepy and I don't like creepy. This guy's not creepy. He's just serious. Let's see if you can see him better on the black. He's not creepy. He just has kind of a straight mouth. So, so happy I have these. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with these, but it will be something fantastic and I will have tons to share with my friends. So, and I did find the wooden stickers. So, I don't know what's going on with me and skulls this year, but I am truly loving them, especially the happy ones and the sugar skulls. These are really, really cool, these stickers. So, um, I picked up a couple of packages of each and I unwrapped them so you could see them well. And then look, when you're done, you have acetate. All right. Get that out of the way. Okay, there's those guys. Now, I did pick up one where the glitter didn't adhere on him, but I figured I could fix that. I could change colors and get plenty, you know, we can fix that. This is such a good deal, these wooden. It was kind of like this one. The large one would kind of look like this one where it's not 100% on there, but that's fixable. And I love that you can paint them the colors you want. And these, that's really cool. They did the bat. So there's, there's four styles to choose from. And I love this Halloween house. This house is absolutely stunning. And then you get more bats and a boo. And little... These spiders are very realistic. I actually really like these spiders. They just look like they would kind of fade in the background. And she's... She's cool. I like her. I really like the witch. And this one had, this boo has a little mistake on it where it looks like the black paint somehow rubbed onto it. It was the only package I picked up like that. But you know, there's, there's not that many in the store. So I just grabbed them because I, I loved this and I thought you, I can fix that or I can make it more black and look, make it look it, like it's supposed to be like that. Make it like an eerie boo. So, that might be it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Let me just double check. Whew. I think that's it. And as more things come in, I will show them. And thanks for watching and spending your time with me. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.